The Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, is facing questions over his rejection of departmental advice about a planned development on a protected wetland in Queensland. The project involves a major Liberal Party donor. Mr Frydenberg says he was simply referring the development to an environmental impact assessment. Steve Kinane reports. This is one of Australia's most important wetlands for migratory birds. The mudflats of Toondah Harbour near Brisbane provide food for these endangered shorebirds before they make their epic journey back to China and Russia. They're sort of the, the endurance athletes of the animal kingdom. There's nothing like them. Some of these birds can fly eight days non-stop. But this habitat is now under threat by a proposed $1.4 billion development by Walker Corporation involving 3,600 apartments. Part of it's on a wetland protected by the International Ramsar Convention. That means it requires federal approval. Documents obtained under Freedom of Information show that last year the then Environment Minister was given advice that the development should be deemed clearly unacceptable and struck out. Josh Frydenberg rejected that advice, referring it to an environmental assessment. Green groups are shocked by the decision and believe the development will eventually go ahead. Sadly, what we know in Australia is that once projects under our national environment law go to an EIS, it is highly unlikely to be rejected. This was not an approval of the process. This was merely an opportunity for the Department of the Environment to undertake, under the EPBC Act, which is available to the Minister, a proper assessment. In the year that Walker Corp first sought approval for the development, it donated $225,000 to the Federal Liberal Party and $23,000 to Queensland Labor, who support the project. I don't make the payments or um, I'm not aware of the details around them, but you know, I think the important point is that this project will not be influenced by those things. There's one way this project could go ahead while continuing to meet Australia's international obligations. But the government would have to change the boundaries of this wetland as they're listed under the Ramsar Convention. The ABC understands that the Queensland and federal governments have already started those conversations. For now, the future of this wetland is in the hands of the environmental assessment. Steve Kinane, ABC News.